I'm Michael Anders. I'm the director of the Simulation Center. Our role in the Simulation Center is to collaborate with the faculty who are the content experts to, to give the students a stimulating learning experience. This Simulation Center is, is unique in Arkansas. I mean, first, first, just the simple location of the Simulation Center in that it's the, the former emergency department. And it's perfect for a Simulation Center. And I don't know of another simulation center anywhere where they've taken a clinical space like the emergency department and converted it to a simulation center. So as you can see, it is a clinical space. Within Arkansas, we, we, have, we actually reach out to, to uh, the community of educators across the state and help. There's a lot of interest in simulation right now, and we're in, we're in a position where we're trying to help improve the state of the art of, of simulation within Arkansas as well. I'm Mike Wallace, I'm the center manager of the UAMS Simulation Center. I tell people all the time that come through and look at the center and they say, oh, this is a great facility. I said, yes, but really what makes the facility great is the personnel that we have here. We oftentimes hear from people uh, you know, at other simulation centers that have maybe a larger center, maybe more mannequins or whatever, but they don't have the staff, the full-time staff to operate and know what they're doing. Uh, I think that's uh, the real advantage to our simulation centers that we have the staff in place uh, to be able to help, to guide, to um, direct even what it is that we do. The simulation center is a place where people come to practice. They practice skills, they practice clinical reasoning, which, in, which involves assessment uh, of, of, of patients. Uh, developing a plan, implementing that plan, and then evaluating the results of that plan. So simulation is a form of active learning. Adults like to learn by doing. I've never met an adult that doesn't like to learn by doing. What we learn by reading or in a classroom is just the first step. It raises our awareness and then we have to be immersed in it and that's where simulation comes in. Uh, ultimately, clinical practice is where people develop mastery. The feedback's been phenomenal. The students love, like, they love active learning. They love the simulation. They usually want more simulation. The faculty that are involved are really dedicated because it, it's, some, it's something new for a lot of the faculty. So they're really having to spend time to, to convert their curriculum to include simulation. But the feedback from both the students and the faculty has been phenomenal. It's just like any other field, you know, practice, practice, practice. That's how you get to Carnegie Hall. That's how you get to be a, a good medical uh, professional. And I think uh, this gives everybody the opportunity to do that, to come in, practice not only routine things, but obviously things that uh, they may only see once, twice, maybe a year. It's just a, a wonderful uh, feeling to see them you know, realize success.